Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, in this video we're going to have a look at one of the kits that um, I supply. This is the SES Blob Glider Kit. Um, this is, you know, I'm going to show you in this video what you actually get in the kit um, as and when you buy one. So, first things first, in the kit you get the instructions, um, all step by step uh, instructions on what you need to do to build and finish the, the kit. Um, also at the back there's a, a copy of the original drawing uh, that was done by Mike Rigby. Um, the model's designed by Alan Head uh, in the 80s. Uh, I can't remember the, remember the exact date. Um, but yeah, there's a drawing at the back. gives you a guide as to where everything should be laid out. But it's uh, slightly different to what's in the kit um, layout-wise because it still says we use NICADs, which we don't. Um, but other than that, it is as close to the original as possible. So that's the instructions. Um, the next thing, there's a sheet on here that, can you see that there? Um, identifies all the parts in the kit, uh, all the parts that wouldn't be identifiable, shall we say. Um, and it also tells you the other parts and bits and pieces that you've got. Balter tailplane, all nicely cut. Um, now, the wings, blue foam cord, veneered, you can't really see that well in here. But if I open this set up, again, I don't know how well you can see. Oh, you can actually see pretty well. The, the wing is cut as one piece to start with, veneered, and then a cut is made up the length or up the span of the model. So all you need to do is cut the aileron out from that, face the trailing edge of the wing with eighth balsa and the, <coughs> the leading edge of the aileron with quarter balsa, bevel the leading edge, face the ends of the aileron and the root with the sixteenth uh, balsa that's applied and that will be a very nicely fed aileron into the wing aerofoil. Um, because the aerofoil does change, it's not the same at the, at the tip as what it is at the root. Um, so yeah, that's your set of wings. Um, put them all back in there, just now. Alright, so what else do you get in the kit? Well, in that pack of balsa, you get, again I don't know how well you better see, uh, your leading edges, you get your sub trailing edges, you get your aileron leading edges, you get your fuselage longerons, and there's also some eighth balsa in there. Um, the eighth balsa is an option for the builder. Um, this can be added to the trailing edge of the wing um, to stiffen it up, but it's not a requirement. Um, it's down to the builder if they want to do it. It's there if you want to do it. Uh, and there's also in the middle there, there's a, a dowel for push rod for the elevator. Um, also in here, you've got elevator. You've got, that is going to be the hatch piece uh, of 16th ply. You've then got a rear decking of 16th ply. There is this piece here that you can see. This is actually the bottom of the fuselage, again in 16th ply. And then on the other side, <coughs> you, well, on the other side of the pack, you've got your two fuselage sides. These are handed um, because the markings are, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that there. That's just lightly engraved, so that'll be on the inside. You've also got at the nose, again, I'm trying to get to show, see, there's some marks there for where the long drawn stop and the nose block fits. Um, so that's the ply pack and then what else have we got well starting in the goodie bag balsa nose block that is sh again, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that's shaped in plan form so that will fit on the inside lined up to those marks so that when you pull the nose together after the, the fuselage sides are glued to the wing you can get it all nice and square so that fits in there in plan form. Um, we have one part of a fin and the other part of the fin and they get glued together to 
separate your one piece fin. We have two nice chunky tip blocks um, shaped in plan form. So all you do is just line up the front end with the leading edge and the back end will line up quite nicely, or I shouldn't say that point there, will line up quite nicely with the trailing edge of the aileron. Um, little piece of 16th balsa, that's for doing your facings of the inboard and outboard of the aileron and the inboard, sorry, the outboard end of the trailing edge stub on the wing that's left over. Um, four two millimeter threaded push rods and in the bag there's also in the small bag there's four clevises also in the small bag you've got your elevator horn um, you've got your surface hinges and you've got a fiberglass for bandaging the wing and the fuselage joint we've got two torque rods for the ailerons uh, they need to be bent to size there is a top decking ply piece uh, these two pieces weren't used in the original kits but these are what I'm calling sacrificial formers these are put in place to help with the assembly um, to keep everything square and then before the assembly is finished these are removed um, so they're just as a building aid um, what else we got in here we have got three ply servo mounts so they get glued to the wing two hatch locating tongues and the last but not least these are the off cuts of the longerons um, two of these are for uh, the fin support from the fin to the tailplane and the other two are for or can be used for support around the tailplane um, it's just making use of the material um, but that is about it. So that's just a brief overview of the Blob Glider Kit. Um, well, there will also be a video for the Power uh, version. Um, if you're interested in one of these kits, there should be links below the, in the description. Um, send me a message if you've got any questions about it. And hopefully these will be available to buy in the not too distant future. So from here in the workshop, I'll catch you next time.